‫אלימה הגר היה תלמוד מנה ‫אשר בטר בחד, ‫בי מסר שלי בי הווה, ‫בי שבועת בי הווה, ‫בי בי סוכות בי הווה. ‫אז זה לא שאף אמר, ‫או בי הווה, ‫מיינג איזה רק קונסקוונס, ‫או זה אין אקשואל מצווה, ‫לא תביא פעמים סוכות. ‫זה אקשואלי אין אינטרפנט מצווה, ‫לא סמוח בחד. ‫אז זה אין אינטרפנט מצווה, ‫לא סמוח בבקרים. ‫זה מצווה חקרת הטוב, ‫זה סמוח בסדס, ‫זה מצווה חקרת הטוב. ‫אמן ושמחת על כל הזדמנים, Not an independent mitzvah for you to When you're not here to, when you're a grateful person, what will happen? You will be a happier person. Do you have to be conscious that you're saying? Is it recording or is it recording on a man? Yeah, recording on a man. Yes, I'm on. Mitzvah. So what, firstly, one beautiful idea, right? Definitely according to this man. Let's continue. And we're going to see some of our links. That's a good bit. כי תחלה לעשר את כל מסר תבואתך בשנה שלישית שנת המסר ונתת ליבי לגר ליתום ולא מנה ואכלו בשבחה בסביב. ואמרת לו, now, once again, here we have a מצווה of a taking off מעשר from your produce to give it to whom, to give it to לליבי לגר ליתום ולא מנה. You're supposed to say, wait right. a second, מצוין. דברים, פרק תזיין. I heard about the mitzvah of giving maser. I'm a mitzvah of giving maser. So just to show you how complex this is, here it repeats the mitzvah of giving maser, but tells you, by the way, yours particularly three and six, you're not just going to give to the levi, which is what it said, basically, that you have to go and you have to give it and celebrate with everyone in Yerushalayim. You're going to give it specifically to levi geri atom amana. That Alana correctly said, what's the common denominator? They're all aniyema. They're all non-lands owners. This is where we learn the mitzvah of Maser Ani. So again, the various name mitzvot deliberate. Should we count this as an independent mitzvah called the mitzvah of Maser Ani? Or is Maser Ani just a subcategory of uh, that Maser that we already heard in, again, in Parsha Tariya? The first time we said Maser Ani is the second. No? So regular Shuma Maser. Shumat Maser, no, Maser it, Rishon, that we give the lady, that's also the mother. Yes, yes, so we are already heard about Maser Shemi, which is literally your Maser Shemi. That's right. That, what's the goal of it? To go to Yerushalayim and to eat it with who? That's the first day. Okay. Exactly, so Chazal will extrapolate from here that if these are your three, three, three and six, then it must be that yours. One, two, one, two three, four, five. five. I also have to give Tanim, but I have to eat it how? In Yerushalayim, so I make a big suuda. Everyone see the difference? So uh, which is a subcategory? Are they all independent mitzvot? Good question. Machlokot, mamash, amongst the various rishonim. Now, some don't even count it. Instead, they'll count maser, like the Ramban. Like, why are you counting all the details? There's a mitzvah of maser. And then there is, this is the chidush, just like by Mikra B'churim. The mitzvah B'churim, you heard about already. We counted it once. Now is the chidush. What's the chidush? What we call? Vidui Maser. Everyone agrees this is an independent mitzvah. <laughs> so just like Alana said, this covers the Hafrasha of all the Masrut, which now then the Mafreya, I have to wonder, so maybe this was just a repetition of the Maser, and Chazal will learn from here, okay, there is a difference between years one, two, four, five, and three and six. לא אכלתי בעוני ממנו, לא ביארתי ממנו בתמיל, לא נתתי ממנו למת, שמעתי בכל השם אלוקיי, עשיתי ככל אשר תיבד אני. And then we turn to Hashem, right after we say Hashem, we did everything כדת וכדין. Then we ask Hashem את התפילה. So notice מקרא ביקורים is an expression of הכר הסתות. Here, וידוי מסרות is וידוי, אשמנו וגנו, I did everything, I hope I didn't make any mistake, and now ישר וידוי ותפילה. השקיפה מימון קדשך מן השמיים, וברך את צמחת יצרו ואת אדמה אשר נתת לנו, כאשר נשבעת עליו אותינו, ארץ אבת חלב ודבש. איזה יופי. And this is one of the basis of this man. Just like מקרא ביקורם ends with the consequence of שמחה, וידוי, is this an independent mitzvah of השקיפה מימון קדשך? No. The consequence of וידוי is what do you, what happens right after וידוי? Hashem, I'm so sorry. Continue. Exactly. So uh, please, can you bless me now? Right, meaning at Tzvila, we do this on Tzvila. You bless me and your practice provides everyone else, so keep it blessing me, so I can keep it blessing you. I'm the perfect Shaliyah, Hashem, I've shown you that. Yafem Ma'od, Mitzvian. 
question is obviously, if we already had an independent mitzvah of Bikurim and we already had an independent mitzvah of Maser, why not just juxtapose Mikra Bikurim to Bikurim and Bidoy Maser to Maser? Why do we have all these machlokot amongst the Rishonim? How we're going to divide it? What's dependent on what? What's a subcategory? And I think I've actually said this here before, but basically, Gana Rav Samet points this out beautifully as well, that from here we see that Moshe Rabbeinu is not just ending the uh, Noom HaMitzvot. How do we know that? Because this begins a new Persha, right? Meaning Chachmei Babel saw this as the beginning of a new section, which they see really as the beginning of the Tekas Habrit. Moshe Rabbeinu ended the mitzvot. Now he basically is summarizing them, right? He's writing mamash, the cliff notes, the sparks notes, and the chon, call it, but what you like for what the no mitzvot are all about. Yeah, yeah, how? So how is this a hard detail that weren't in the original description in the Shnopayyot And his job now, is to make sure like all the fine details are known. Yes, that. So why didn't he just juxtapose the fine details to to the larger mitzvot of Bikurim or Masa, respectively? Because the whole idea of Sefer Dvarim okay. is Kilu it's Chazara and it's and it's an emphasis. Metsuyan, but he already did it in Dvarim because these are Dvarim. Different these are mitzvot. No, no, no. Same well, as in Dvarim. As a matter of fact, we're less than ten chapters away. Mm -hmm. Meaning, okay. Mamash. Eight and a half chapters earlier, he told us about the mitzvah before, and he told us about the mitzvah of Maser. Why not just juxtapose it? The answer is that this basically is his way of saying this is what the whole kanal, the whole no'um mitzvot is about. There are two aspects of the no'um mitzvot. All the mitzvot are on one hand about mikra bikurim. What does that mean? Hashem, I recognize that now that you brought me into Eretz Yisrael, I have a national identity and responsibility to recognize that we're only here because you brought us here, right? It's Am Yisrael's destiny to be in the land. In short, Mikra Bikurim is an expression of our Zehut, Lo'umit. Were there many mitzvot like this, like Mikra Bikurim? Mikra Bikurim, like Sarah was saying, is basically a summary of all those details that he was talking about that are more mitzvot l'umiyot. How about bidoy maser? What's bidoy maser? I gave maser. It's true, it's a mitzvah tzuya barat. But what am I saying with the bidoy? I'm saying, Hashem, I did everything kedatu kedin. Klomar, hazehuta hilchatit shali. And this basically is what Moshe Rabbeinu is saying. That everything I told you until now can fit in one of these two categories. These are the two sides of your zehut. On one hand, you have Zehut Lumit. On the other hand, you have Zehut Tilchatit. Unfortunately, what happens in Galut? You lose the Lumit. You lose the Lumit. So uh, you can look and people may say, ah, I don't want to make Aliyah because I see that my daughters, you know, uh, go off to uh, Shirut, they go off to the army and they uh, become, become, uh, become less, uh, less halachic. And uh, Moshe Ravina says, no, 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 no. You can't forget, right? Meaning, so in Chutzar, it's Yisei Hukati, that's our Yisei Hut. You can't forget that Yisei Hut. But what are they missing? There's Yisei Hut Lomit. Again, now people here, we have Yisei Hut Lomit and sometimes become lax with the Yisei Hut Lomit. And these are basically the two Moshe Ravina says, all the mitzvot, Zavka and mitzvot at Tuliyot Ba'aret, and Kedei, Nachon, Shatem Takiu, Aten Tevadu, Aten Tikru'u, this is basically our national anthem. So one idea to start with. And uh, this was really originally. Yeah, so yeah, you need to once you live in your and then you need to leave your what you think is the essence, which is planning to get that and go to the Mitzvian, yes, I'm old. So, nachon. So, Alana is justifying why, Mamash, when I sat down to prepare this year, first I thought, oh, I love this theme. I'm going to talk about the mitzvot of Mikra Bikurim. When do you say it? Who do you give it to? And the mitzvah Vizoy Maser. And then I decided not to. Bemez, I can show you, you know, I have a page on it. Why did I decide not to? You just answered it because I don't have the bit on the cash today. Nachon, so we can't bring our beautiful tenna that they used to decorate with all these. 
ribbons, and I can already picture the Harrison Tenna because I'm just going to be gorgeous. And then Anna, we're all going to say, oh, they can all. Okay. Uh, so, again, yeah, that's the, but we don't, uh, we don't get to bring it, so we don't get to to say it. As a matter of fact, there is a machloket. Right, can I say it without the Bikurim? Or if I brought the Bikurim earlier, or what do I do? Because I live in Gushetil, and so my Zaytim aren't ready. So I'm only going to bring my Zaytim after, after some coat. <laughs> well, that's 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 deal. So do well, I not fun? say Mikra Bikurim when I bring Zaytim? Yeah, if I want Zaytim, can you say Ken, Ken. So you pick a little more. So, so do I not say? So some say you bring without the Mikra Bikurim. But let's say I brought my figs. <laughs> let's say I brought my figs, the end of Elul, and I bring my grapes the first week of Tishrei. So I have to say Mikra Bikurim each time, right? So good question. What about Chala? We do Chala, even though we don't have. We do it. The only Mikra Banan today, exactly. And and we even do it in Chutzlaret. We do Orla in Chutzlaret. We do Orla in Chutzlaret. Again, just to get us attuned to these Mitzvot Hatzi of Barat. And some also Chala knows in Chutzlaret. Okay, no, but on a lower level. Meaning if you weren't Makrish before Shabbos, it's okay. You can still eat on the Chama. We need to be Chala to that. But that's exactly it. Meaning Bikurim and Maser. Are dependent on the base of the Now, really, Bikurim, no. And, oh, and meaning in is, meaning it's a mitzvah to Yabba Aretz, but we don't have it today because Bikurim is dependent on the Mikdash. Chala isn't dependent on the Mikdash. Chala is dependent on who's the Kohen. Yeah. But we also have Kohanim that we know that are Kohanim. No, we don't. Yeah, yeah, no, but but not, we, we do, but we, uh, we don't. I think we used to. It's very nice. And then that's how we're going to reinstate Kohanim. We're talking about truma, so you can't. It's very it. good. Nachon, mamash, mamash. In that, there's a issue. I think of Chavi Yaakov. Someone told me that in order to get everyone ready for the mikdash, in Nutnim Lachvot Shabbat, Yisha Rotatzia Shol Mishpachot Shmirim at Chalash Alehem LeMishpachot Shakohanim. Oh, okay. Can the Gamat Lamar? I met Hayom, we give our maser to like the biblical zoo. Yeah, it's <laughs> to, to animals. So they also they give it to like the animals of the Kohanim, you know, to <laughs> get ready for uh for the Ram Kegel. Uh, so, so once we're not ah, we should give you You're so lucky. Do you know I just asked in class, I was trying to explain the laws of of Tumat Yadayim and Masachat Yadayim I was teaching. So Hazal Taknu She Yesh Li Yadayim Shatashanila so, so we uh, we're learning Tanaru. Uh, yeah, the group uh, of teachers that Tara should also. Ah, that's an excellent question. So because Chachamim instituted Duchanin, meaning it's a mitzvah do right The way we do it today is Midrash Banan. That can still stay. Meaning it's not the ideal ideal way, but that's why in Chutzlar it's they only do it the Shalosh Regalim. Nachon, which isn't because Faradim kept them in Hagim of Eretz Yisrael, even when it's like. Yeah, yes, yes. Only like Faradim, Faradim to Hori. Yeah, the real. It's a yofi. So I always give the example. So the halacha is that's why we have to wash the sails the nitzilat yadayim because let's say I brought you, I'm baking pizza. Bella's baking pizza <laughs> in the morning, and she brings you, she has to bring every morning. She would give you her chala, right? When she would be my fish chala, she would put it on your windowsill. So you got a lot of these like little rolls. What would you do? It's a yofi. You would thank her, because she likes you very much. So our other koanim, she decides she's always going to give it to you. But in order for you to prepare it, for everyone to eat, you're allowed to eat it. I'm not allowed to eat it. You have to do what? Truma, you have to eat the tuma. Problem with truma is if my yadayim are shini la tuma, and if I touch the chala, what happens? It becomes shlishi la tuma. That generally, if I touch things, shlishi la tuma, lo mishane, if a kohen touches yeah. truma, shlishi la tuma becomes tame. If you consciously eat tuma, truma, the tuma, 
Then you die. Oh. So I always, a little scary to be a Kohen, but it's such a school. Mm -hmm. So imagine this, right? Let's say I was eating, I like to call it this way. You're eating your holy bagel sandwich. Is that it? <laughs> the holy bagel sandwich. Okay. <laughs> and I want to come eat my non-holy bagel tuna mahon with you. So isn't this fascinating? <laughs> you have to do what before you eat in the time of the bacon of flesh? You have to wash your dying with the radius of water to make sure that your hands are now as far as you can eat. I can eat without touching because it doesn't make a difference. My my bread is cooling. But because I don't want you to die, it's not nice to me. So I'm gonna get out then. Wash your dying to remind you to wash your dying. That's why we wash your dying before bed. You remember we were talking about Nefilat Yadayim, Bashir Shel Shani? And Achyan Shel Itgayas. Kaliti lo kaze, Lassim alatik shelo. Vazu yachol yachol yadayim, it's not heavy, and I could also drink tea and coffee. Where did you find that? The Kfar Etzion, the Tevanot. The Shani Pachad Mishim Achuz. Sorry. And so it's also dry. I love that. Nachon the Rayon Tov Legil. Nachon the Chamur. 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 And I kill I'm going to be Liba, the water shan, and that's in my teeth, because my son. נחון זה חמוד, זה כל אחיות שמתקילו, אחיותים מבנים, כי הם, כאילו הם, תדאי, בצבעה בשטח, לחיות את הדרך, את הסקוס, שזה לא חד פעמי, שזה מספיק, if it's on your teeth, זה נגיש, נחון זה חמוד, it's not, I'm so surprised that it's like a, I don't know, French name, Bali, it should say, like, I'm not too lucky, I thought Bali, 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 Bali mikol yadayim, bali nasot mitzvot. I'm sorry, Jenny, because they... They don't have time to come in. I need ADHD to do that. Who else would make something like that? That's interesting. Third world country. They drink water, but they don't have time. They drink water, but they don't have time. Okay. And also in bar mitzvot, when they do kiddushim, then I think it's a good idea. Ah, okay. Bar mitzvahs when they make a kiddush? No, that you don't want, when you're invited to a kiddush, not the whole bar mitzvah, you want to bring something for the kid. Ah, oh, as a matana. Yeah. No, matana la bar mitzvah, ze nechman. Ze ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-
And see, the Olam Vimatot having to do with going to Har Grizim and Hariba, he counted it as a mitzvah in his compilation of Taryag mitzvot. Right? So it's so like interesting. One big mitzvah as no. Pratim or Pur? Kol Prat. Kol Prat is a mitzvah who betem mana et a mitzvot takshirot le Har Grizim So that's an excellent question. So he left out others, meaning that's really a fascinating course. Right, which we should do in here, and that is go through all of the hakdamot of Sifrei Hamitzvot, and then all the Sifrei Hamitzvot. Do they all agree on the six hundred thirteen? Yeah, yeah. No, where they get this holy number six thirteen from Sechad Makot, Right, Chaplet, Torah Tiva, Lanu Moshe, Torah Tiva, six hundred eleven from Moshe, then and Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Sorry about that. Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Yana said the other two. So Yana, uh, he says, where it is? Uh, so the Ramban comments on Sarah's question and said, okay, if he adds all of these mitzvot, which ones does he leave out? He says he left out the mitzvot having to do with Mamad Harsinai. Can anyone tell me which mitzvot? Not a Sarah Tadibro, don't worry. Mitzvot takshiro la Mamad Harsinai, such as the Hashem, but a Yazer around Harsinai, amazing. Not on the Rambam doesn't count those yeah. either. The Rambam has a lot of you know extra yeah. material. So the Rambam counts all the details of the assays and the low tassets, which is very interesting. That's how he makes up for it. And uh, the Ramban basically says, and uh, by Mama Harsinai, and Lahem Ella Lishaatan, right? Just like right. we said, Chibsusim Lotam. But why is this different? And he argues, based on what Alana said, why is this Tekes different than Mama Harsinai? What did they you do the here? Because you write the Torah down, right? At Harsinai, did they write anything down? No. 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 And therefore, he says, Tivata Torah and Avanim. No, it's not Hashem, the first Lukot. And they didn't get them, right? So, Moshe Rabbeinu. No, and, perfect, right, but even if it was written uh, before, it was separate than Yafem Ma'or. What? The first time the word Tzav and the Tzav, you've got to say it. Nachon. So Moshe Katav at Sefer Habrit. And that's the first writing, right, yeah. of the Torah. So did he go from Breshit to Allah this, or was Parsha Mishpatim, its own independent oh, one? Yafem, the deal. So what? Nachon, that's not, it's, it, that's the, that's what we call the actual Brit. The Ma'amad is not necessarily connected to the Ma'amad, which is why Rashi sees it before, the Ramban sees it after. Achon ve and Ken, here, what's part of it? Ktivat Sefer HaTorah al Ha'avanim, right? And this is very interesting. And, and why do we have to do this? He says, Lizi Karon, not he says, Gan Lizi Karon, Kitavola, Arta Shashem Elokacha Notema, take a look at Parach of Zayin. Pasok Dalid, Bayaba, Rahmetar Din, Sakimo Tavanima Ilash, and Nokim Tabet from Hayo Bahariba, Visatu Totam Basid, Uva Nita, Tatototor, Visavato Shlamim, Tari, I skip Pasukimo, Bahatata, Lehen, it called the Reha Torah Hazot, Bahraha, Lemana Shertavo, Ella Erta Shashama Kapanotin, Harit of Atala Budvash, Hasher Diber, Hashem Aloka Abotaha, Lach, and what's the point of all this? Anna, Bahatata, Pasukret, Bahatata, Alavanim, it called the Reha Torah Hazot, Beer Hiteva. And in order not just to hear it, but also as a, a zikaron, right? To remember this for future generations, and therefore explains the Ramban that if that's the case, the brachot and the klalot are also zecher ladorot. Why? Is it really lishata? Just that first time when they go to Hargrizim Harival, no. and if um, just as an example, arur matem mishpat geriaton balmana? No, that's ladorot. You're mm -hmm. always going to be cursed. Mm -hmm. Just like Aserat had the brot, our Lidoro, the Ma'amad may not be, but this time the Ma'amad has, instead of like 10 de brot, the Ramban says, just a lot of, a lot of mitzvot, Lidoro. Arur yeah, is telling you, that's what it's repeating things that are already mentioned in the Torah and other places. Yafem Ma'od, Yafem. And therefore, how many mitzvot does he count it as? One. Mm. The Amirat Brachot and Klalot. Mm -hmm. Because technically, when should you say the brachot on klalot? In every generation, right? You may not go to Hargreaves and Maharibal to say it. How are you going to say these brachot and klalot? Where Maybe in shul, on Shabbat. Maybe in Bidil, the Brit Hamana. Maybe in your house, right? Arur, you know, so, uh, whatever the case may be. And <laughs> therefore, and he says, and to answer Sarah's question, he says, yes, and sometimes it's Prat, sometimes it's cloud, meaning 
Sometimes it may be more direct than what you had heard before, sometimes less direct, but counts it as one mitzvah, right? And basically, you still, he says, this tekes then, according to the Ramban, right, it's counted as a mitzvah, the tekes itself. And even though there isn't necessarily a specific chiyah for us to perform this today, right? Meaning when he counts it, like, how do we do this? But the whole point is the ideas are going to be everlasting ideas. Rav Sadiq, he wrote a letter to his son. He made a the right? He wrote a letter So the Geras has more. I'm going to say, Shmirati Nayim, Anachon, more of the ARI, all type of issues. But he also wrote, you know, Musar and Nachon, yet that. Nachon, he believes you have to tell your son, Arua Rambam, Rechem, yet that Maud. Rav Sadia Gaon, in his say from his vote, Rav by the way, I know you're not supposed to take sides or favorites, but the coolest say from his vote. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, now, what, what, what is so a quote? Cool? You ready, guys? Firstly, ah, he's so cool. He has a whole introductory poem that rhymes, and then he lists all the mitzvot in alphabetical order, meaning not just alphabetical <laughs> order. He puts right 613 mitzvot, tachat, ha, across the chon shel alphabet, alif, ever min hachai. Like the Rambam, come to it according to the Seder of the Torah, like the Sefer Chinuch. The Rambam says mitzvot ase, followed by mitzvot lo tase. But according to the Seder, but not as systematic as the Sefer Chinuch, I've said it on the chlalo. They were all supposed to be shem mitzvot shemaimio, so who cares about the order? Come on, is that super cool? Thank you. Thank you. So, I've said if you look carefully, what would you look under if I want to see whether or not he counts the tekas of Hargreeze and Maribel. He would call it breeds. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So he calls uh, the breeds of Hargreeze and Haribal. He actually puts it not under Betri Shutaf, but Brachot Beklalot, Shal mm Hargreeze -hmm. and Haribal. He, like the Ramban, counted as a mitzvah. Isn't that interesting? And he basically divides up the mitzvah into, like you asked before, Three subcategories. So he defines it as mitzvot ase. Within this, you can find mitzvot ase, mitzvot lo tase, and mitzvot hamutalot al hatzibur. He says they're all mitzvot hamutalot al hatzibur and not on the yachid. Even if it sounds like it, arur mashke iber baderech. Right? Doesn't that sound like a yachid? He says no. When it said lefne iber, lotitein mechshol. Be yafem od yafem. That's exactly what he said. Lefne iber lotitein mechshol is I'm not allowed to. I'm someone else. This is on a community basis, right? Like fix a pothole. Not me, but the that, no, the yeshuv. No, no, no. Oh, that. the moita. <laughs> 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 but so uh, that's our study phone. Then not uh, just to it. This is important because here we have, as we said, this is going to be the most contested parsha. Like how many mitzvot are we going to have? So the next one is Rav, Rava per Perlau. Rav Perlo also has to say for Hamid's vote. Hey, I am Reish Lamed Aleph. And he explains that based on the, he says, wow, isn't that interesting? What would you have thought? Is the, are the Rachot Klalot, Mitzvot Ledorot, or Mitzvot Le... Ledorot. So you say Ledorot, right, because it's a but it has a... And then we never hear no, it again. It's supposed to be written in the Evan, the Zikaron, the Ledorot. We never hear about them coming This again. is... So as soon as I saw this, my mash, like I went through the different Sefer HaMitzvot, and then I thought, wow, he counts up an and Jebrechot and Klalot, where Perla says, yes, it is a mitzvah, and the mitzvah is the mitzvah of Aribut, with the Mayim. Well, Khan, he says, that's the mitzvah Ludorot. Now you're supposed to say, it's not a mitzvah of Aribut, it's an Erech of Aribut, right? Meaning we can argue this for a moment. Right, basically, it's an ikharon. So that's his point. That in the end, we're going to see halachic ramifications of Aryavut, and therefore Aryavut is a mitzvah. Why did I think that this was very appropriate? Because it is. Right, we always talk about achdut, achdut. There is an isur, right? Is there a mitzvah of achdut? Right, there isn't a mitzvah to say of achdut, but there is a a lot of say of lot of suagudot agudot. Lot of agudot to do. The mitzvah to say of lot of suagudot agudot. Lot of agudot to do. 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 Lot of agudot to
Kolakavod. But Rav Ariel says, actually, there isn't a mitzvah to say a vachdu, but there is a mitzvah a rivut. By the way, how is that different? How is a rivut different than achdut? Achdut means what? To be united. To be united, right? To see ourselves as one. Machon kulano wa melchamim neged machon chizbala. They say there, that's achdut. A rivut means you are so different than I am, and I have nothing to do with you, you know, who want this, uh, what's the curriculum? Um, um, liba. 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 <laughs> liba. Uh, you know, opens up a Pandora's box and, but I am a ray for you. What does that mean? I I'm just as I care about you and Ah, <laughs> is more than a reboot. That's, I have to love you. Wow. A reboot is, I have to take responsibility for you, even if I don't, I don't like you. I'm responsible. So if I see, this is mamasha halacha. If I see someone doing a sin and I don't stop them, I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't hate them. That's a separate yisur. But I don't like them. I I have a mitzvah to do what? To give to a But the ramification. That's Rabbi Meir and Ab Beseder Beseder. But now let's see. What does that mean? What is the mitzvah by reboot? Right? It sounds like, okay, a nice little room. Yes, that was perfect. That was great. I'm going to use that example from now on. What we also like to call Achrayuta Dadit. Right, that's basically a reboot. So, Matan Torah, you should say, what created a reboot? Matan Torah. But actually, what did Matan Torah do? Created what? It's true, a brit with Hashem, but the mitzvah would have to lot on whom? Think about it. Lo yalacha, alavim achirim apanam. Lo tata lacha, that's the whole time. They're ki yechidim, kabed et alvicha vetimacha. Achon? They're really even low tier tach, low tier tach. They're not. You're entering the They're not national. Low tach mode is not as a nation. Don't you don't covet your neighbor. Nachon, that's the zachor et shabbat et yom shabbat lekacho. Right, it's on the individuals. We and why? Why? Why can't the Torah just have given it to us with achrayut? Right, with a reboot. The answer is because. Why did each person That was our that was our Torah meet. Now that we're coming into Eretz Yisrael, what Zehut do we have? Mm-hmm. And now we have only when you're a Lu'um, only when you're Mamash, an Am with the nation, only then do you have Arivut. You could have had a Chorayut before, but now you have Arivut. Isn't that amazing? Now, what we have to speak about are what are the, are the ramifications. Okay. So, firstly, he explains. Now, I understand why the Rambam, the Perla says, I know why the Rambam didn't count the Tekkas as a mitzvah. And now he says that because basically, according to the Rambam, you don't have ekronot, meaning you have to, you need a practical, you, he puts arivut under other types of mitzvot dasei. And therefore, he says, because anything that a yachid would have to take upon himself, so for example, a yachid, Takes upon himself a hafta the recha kamocha, right? That's a rivut, right? I mean, that's how the Rambam would explain it. But so now the question is about Rav Sadia going, right? Why didn't he explain it as a rivut, right? He said this is now going to be on the whole, the whole nation. So in order to really understand this, we have to understand what a rivut is. So that's the mitzvah. Now this is a little contested because again, does everyone count it as a mitzvah in the parsha? No, but according to our parallel, parla, is this the, mit, the main mitzvah of the parsha? Yes, there is so we're going to learn that. And that, yes, yeah, out. So that's exactly what we're going to learn now. So it seems that it really is a mitzvah at night. Place where I'm saying, let's do it. It's actually in the Erevin. Place where I'm saying, it comes from. Um, Based on Sefer Dvarim, Isha, Bechato Yamat, the Ish Bavano Yamutu, Ah, Bechi Yamut. 
someone on someone, what do you mean? How can someone die for someone else's sin? Mikan she? Call you star already. Cool. Okay. 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 So that's one halachic ramification. But now we're going to end by discussing the others. And basically, there is a reboot, if you think about it, having to do with every mitzvah, right? So if I see someone, if I see Achan taking from the Chayram of Yericho, I'm a Machra'i, right? I'm a Reb. If I see someone Machalel Shabbat, I'm a Reb. So one can argue it's under every mitzvah. It's not. That's why the Rambam doesn't want to call it a, an independent mitzvah. But I can also see that it's not just there, but the Gemara Mesachat Sultan, Lamed Zayin, tells us something very interesting. And Ein Lacha, Kol Mitzvah O Mitzvah Shabbat Torah, Shalo Nechritu Alaha, Erbeim Ushmona Kvitot, Shal Sheish Me'ot Elef, Ushloshet Alafim Bachamesh Me'ot Bachamishim. What does that mean? That in any moment, right, a person isn't just Chayav to fulfill the mitzvah of the moment, rather, he has a chobah to make sure that Everybody all of Am Yisrael is fulfilling mitzvah. every mitzvah that they can possibly fulfill. <laughs> now, the Jew in China, it's my achrayut that then you also eat kosher. Yeah. And now the question is, wow, right? Is that really? Magvul. So we say the rule generally, if I see it, if I know about it, meaning do I, is there really a mitzvah very good for, let's say, b'nei chutz la'aretz? Do I, no, to make sure to help them keep mitzvot. What about if you see somebody getting married to an Jew? Oh, totally. It's a nice one. I mean, sad, but that's one example. What do you have to do? Try to avoid it, but it's not so easy. No, but that's your mitzvah very good. So uh, that's one. Another is with regard to mashim. Why is this interesting? Again, the Gemara and Brachot, that's Chafa Mudbet, say, our women chayav and Brachot HaMazon, it's a machloket, if they're chayav, they'll write to Rabbanan, based on, we say, Asher Chatamta, so the Gemara explains that what would be the nafkamina, whether or not a woman can be motzi a man. So if she is only chayiv midrabanan, she can't be motzi a man, but she can be motzi another woman. And this is obviously part of our reboot, right? I'm a for you to bend. So what am I going to do? I'm going to ask you to answer amen to my brachot. Are you allowed to motzi, like you bench for me? Yeah, I can bench for you. It used to be that. That's, that's, that's how everyone, that's how Zimun started. Okay, everyone, have a nevarech, we're benching. And then have a you say it out loud. Yes, that's how everyone started. But it's not you can't it. say, you should still say it out loud. Thank you. You could, it's but yeah. it's better for you to say it also. It's not really Zimun. You, you have to be so, there. I mean, no, there. You have to be there. If you I'm in the kitchen, I'm like falling asleep and say, just bench for me. If you say I'm in the you have to say I'm in the Do you no, if the father benches out loud, I can understand. I have to bench out loud. But not not out loud. That's the best. You can't go to bed. You have to say to my here. So you have to hear it. You have to hear it. You can't walk into the kitchen and say, I'm so. No, you can't like say, I'm in. Exactly. No. Exactly. someone, for example, if that happened, let's say someone doesn't know you three. Well, I'm sure not. So I said, don't worry, I'm going to be mostly you just at the end of every breath. Okay. It's not like letting candles that you do with other people. Because they're not going to be there, right? You just have them in mind. Okay, but I can do this all the time. You have a close day, I have a close day. And then you have a close day. You just say, I mean, you drink. Not just Kiddush on Shabbat. Yeah, all the time. Okay. And so, so, Gabeya and Nashim Sulegmar is saying that women have a they're not including a reboot of men, right? Meaning dependent on the level. So here's another idea that has to be on the same level. And, and the rush explains, Rech HaTamazon is an example, that women then aren't, aren't entirely, meaning they're a rave, but only for people on the same level, right? Meaning to be a rave, you have to be? Same halachic status. Bidiuk. So can I be a rave for a Kohen to eat chala? No. Right, even though you're calling and you're part of Am Yisrael, and I want to uh, be part of you, that's very nice. But I can't eat the challah for you. Why not? Mitzvah. Yeah. How about this? Can I wash my hands as if you've washed your hands? And say, Shani, wash your wash your hands for me. <laughs> no, no, the, the deal. Yeah. Just uh, right, By the way, I can wash your hands for you. 
זה מה שעושים בשיחות אצלנו. אז יאללה, אז יאללה, אז יאללה, אז יאללה, אז שלא כולם ייכנסו ויצאו, אנחנו רוצים גיגים גדולה, ומישהו מחזיק יד, ואז עוברים מאחד לאחד לאחד. You can help them say the breath, but you can't say you can't. Yeah. But you can't do that. Exactly. Yeah. I can't thank Hashem for eating if I haven't eaten. But you can thank Hashem for eating if I haven't eaten. But you can thank Hashem for eating if I haven't eaten. But ideally, that's like a bedeved. Ideally, What's when I say, say it, it what's a good question. question. Good question. The first. And the person should know that they may be, be saying it. Like I, what is the, whoever is saying Abdullah, as you may have to say it again. No. Why would you say Abdullah again instead of them doing it their own Abdullah? Because my daughter came from Nike, but I haven't heard of that. So she could do it. So that's the question. It's been if her guy to do it, or if her girl to do it. Because what Shulchan Aruch says, that according to the Zohar, women cause for darkness to come in. And that's the Zohar. There's a Mahlokah that that's a machoka that Mariam Aisha, the woman can say to him. The woman can say, that's exactly. I thought it was a machoka that you can say to him. No. And it's on the week that it's what to say she's not about it. It's Shabbat, it's not. No, it's, it's linked to, we pass them, it's linked to Zahar Shem Hashem. The Zahar has to do it. The Zahar has to do it. The Zahar thing. But the Shulchan Aruch has to do it. So it's like I'm so Shulchan Aruch thing. So it's better for men to say in the lab, but I'm not. Okay. But Kiddush. But again, you don't have to start like knocking on people's doors to say Abdullah to you. No, for sure. Not, you know, you can. That's uh, the only woman who's got it. But Kiddush, 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 there isn't a reboot between not just women and men, but men and women, right? Meaning maybe a woman can only be multi of women oh, yeah, in everything, yeah. right? Which is an interesting idea. with men. So too, What do you think of that? Interesting. Definitely an achabram that wasn't no, already. Because a lot of things, a man cannot... He doesn't experience the same things as Muhammad. Muhammad, that's why he doesn't have a perspective at all. Yafet, yafet ma'onu. So according to this, I made the show where they were built, so the Romans didn't hear well, they didn't have to read. And I got a woman who like led in the woman section. What was going on? Sure. So Rabbi Kiva Iker says, that's so interesting that you said that. Rabbi Kiva Iker says, so Arivut is dependent on what level of mitzvah plus again only in a case where I'm chayiv in this mitzvah right now right meaning even if we both have the same stuff right Berkat HaMazon was a good example right meaning we're both chayiv but I ate and you didn't eat so can you be motzi me of course not right meaning so you need both of these conditions so let's say again once again if a woman is only chayiv in Berkat HaMazon midrabanan so what she doesn't have the uh, arevut for that mitzvah. Rabbi Kiva Eger wants to say, but are there mitzvot that women do have arevut for for men? Mm -hmm. Can you give an example? Mm -hmm. Lighting Shabbos candles. Mitzuyam. Mitzuyam. Right? If she is, she just gave birth though, who's going to light them? Hey, I'm healthy multi her, but she can also be multi him. Here's a good question. Everything happens How about when you already do it? Because now she has. Because that's the heart. Right now, right now. Right now. What about that's the uh, that's the issue he already did. That's why you should have in mind that he's not saying, but he may have to do it again. That's the way to do it. What about Khala? Being my fresh khala, same no, thing. Not my fresh khala. Ah, so there they can be multi one another. However, on Shabbat, there's a special din of uh, it's not the whole reason you have lechem is not just for hamotzi, it's also for kviyat suudam. There's a machlok at whether right. only men suudam, the kvah suudam, okay. only and lechem mishnah. Mm -hmm. So uh, lechem mishnah should be everyone because it's going to get haman. Mm -hmm. Did I eat man just like my husband ate man? Yeah. Yes. And nonetheless, that's the establishment of kviyat suudam. Question is, are women chayavot in? or only men. So right, in the end, we are, however, it's a machotet if it's to write to a that's number one. Most say to a for women. 
So what, should there be an issue of, of lechem? No. Mm -hmm. If you say it, you can be mozi. It's not for Jonathan, he wants to cook for someone. Oh, and in the end we pass in. <laughs> just so you should know the whole mahalach, like these are great to go to teach, but in the end we pass in to write up for women also, which is amazing. The Rambam says it explicitly. Oh. But the lashon of the Gemara is the bal habayit will say it hapat. The question is, who do you see as the bal habayit? So this oh, becomes more an issue of tradition, tradition, and math. More the search of Greek women. Yes, take back Greek wedding, right? The man's the head, the woman's the neck. That's my favorite one. Okay. <laughs> so, so Rabbi Kibaker makes a distinction with regard to that situation and that mitzvah and that person. So, for example, here's a very good example. How about Ner Chanukah? Can a woman be mostly a man yeah. in Ner Chanukah? Technically, <laughs> yes, because <laughs> of Afinu Hayu Botwanes. But Afinu Hayu Botwanes could mean he has a mitzvah midravanan. She has a mitzvah mishum achena yubotvani. That may be a lower, lower level of dravanan. Nonetheless, because but it's a mitzvah of the bayit, then sure. it becomes, so you both have the same, right? Everyone seen? Yes, I'm old. So this machloket is all about how you understand arezu. So again, according to Rabbi Biki Beiger, you have to look at every mitzvah independently. Arezu is connected to independent mitzvot. Let's take a look at Brachat Hamazon. Let's take a look at Brit Mila. Let's take a look, right? And arezu for this mitzvah exists like this. Arezu. So that's obviously much more independent and individualized. And whereas the Dagum Mervava says arezu is a din klali. And that based on the level of the mitzvah. So there are many where the woman may not have a dinava arivut. And the this, dinner, right, beautiful, right? Beautiful, beautiful. We don't even have the Yes, but not the mother. Excellent. That was a great example. So Rabbi Kiva Eger, who says, look at every mitzvah independently and see uh, what the level of arivut is, who's uh, arrayed for who in that mitzvah, would fit in very nicely with this week's Persha, meaning, that there isn't really an independent mitzvah of arivut, rather arivut is an integral part of each mitzvah. Each mitzvah. Like two, like two, so, uh, like two. Oh, oh, I stick the words. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that, I love that. That's nachan mitzvah, just like tshuva. So, if Rav Sadia Gaon and he does count arivut as an independent mitzvah, apparently he's understanding that. It's actually part of meaning that he's uh, explaining that there is a general, general value, a general idea, which also includes not individuals, but how's he looking at it? Mm -hmm. there, it's the Lumi, right? There is Mithmah Lumi, and that's what was created, not at Harsinai, but in this week's mm -hmm. Varsha. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I know one can also take a look in Gemara and Sanhedrin. Different and different obligations and different. Different land, so you have different mitzvahs, which are that part of the planet. Yeah, then the whole land. So it's only going to get into the Aristotle's land, their own land, their own responsibilities in that together, you can fulfill the Torah. Yeah, and what do you have to do then in every generation? Back to the potholes on the street. So the Meiri explains that we see from here that in every generation, this is a lesson of the Meiri, but I want to give you a day. Yenei Yisrael b'chachmehem, u'manhigeyem, tzrichim hem, lefashvesh tamid. The leaders in every generation have to do what? Have to look at their constituents and take responsibility. If they see that the level of Pinoch has gone down, what do they have to do? Increase it. Take responsibility and create more Hujim. Right? They see that women aren't learning as much Torah, comes along the Or Panacha and says, mm -hmm. we're going to create more opportunities. And they see that people are not being careful on the roads. What do they have to do? Put a traffic light up its own. And work more on this. Right, Mamash, like the, the left turn thing, you guys don't suffer with. But oh, can yes. you imagine it's a, there are two lanes. One turns into a left only lane, but everyone goes into the right to Rami Levi. But Paul Ha Shrenim Shalano. Right, are in that they lane so that they can so cut into. Yeah. Right, exactly. Eventually, it's going to be yeah. fine. Yeah. But basically, it's that's part of our reboot, right? Meaning, I want to make sure that right that everyone behaves properly. Achana went to one uh, to the other, so that's definitely part of the chovat ha ha reboot. You would argue that that's a reboot for the tibur that who has to take. 
להיות המנהיגים ודיינים, ובייסקלי, בדיוק, זאת הריבות, מינינג, זאת אחריות הדדית. Right, but that's only once we come to Eretz Yisrael. So I thought that that was a very interesting machlok. We had to go from a tshatpol where we couldn't decide which mitzvah to learn, basically. Even though we didn't have shir last week, I really couldn't decide which mitzvah. <laughs> and then this week, oh my, we only had two to choose from, but no, 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 Arivut, which is still, so even if Mikro before I'm be doing Maser, it's not no hik, this one has it. Is Arivut still no hik? Yes. Okay. okay. Right, I said I was gonna say I said if you made Shuba. And then the next week is to call. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. I don't think she said she said you're first. That's what she said to me. Wait, is it's your card? Ah, it's your card. Is that a Is that a That's a Rabba. יש בית ספר? יש כן, הוא בצבא. אבל מה שהוא יפה בספר הזה, סליחה ש... It's very, it's like ממש a lot of short stories, like שניים שלוש עמודים כל סיפור. כל מיני דברים שהוא עבר, וזה ממש, זה ממש קריא. זה סאנפקשן? לא, זה סיפורים שקרו לו. שקרו לו, איך הבן שלו רצה להפקיבל מצטיין והוא לא אמר לו, ואיך אבא שלו היה ניצול שואה, ו... מי זה? אליעזר שקדי, הוא היה מפקד חיל האוויר. אז למה קרה לזה? למה מי זה מייקל? כי הם נשלחו לארצות הברית לאיזה פורס, זה הסופרס סטורי. והוא חזר והוא ראה את אשתו בוכה בוכה, הוא אמר לה מה קרה, הוא אמר הייתי בבית ספר, הילד שלנו בבית ספר, והמנהל מחנך כבר עשרים שנה ואמר שהילד שלנו בחיים הוא לא נתקלה בכזה דבר, שהוא בחיים לא ידע לקרוא ולא ידע לכתוב, והוא ניסה את כל השיטות עליו, והילד שלנו פשוט לא יוצלח ומה נעשה ומה נעשה. אז הוא אמר אוקיי, זה המנהל קוראים לו מייקל, אז הוא אמר אז הוא אמר, מי זה מייקל הזה? הוא מחליט, הוא יודע? הוא לא יודע, הוא לא מכיר את הבן שלי, ואני מכיר את הבן שלי, והבן שלי תוך שלושה חודשים יקרא ויכתוב. והיא הסתכלה עליו והיא אמרה, אבל יש לו ניסיון של עשרים שנה, והוא ישב איתו והוא ניסה, והוא אמר, תשאירי לי. ואז הוא הבין שהבן שלו בעצם ניסו ללמד ולקרוא ולכתוב באנגלית, והשפת אם שלו זה עברית בכלל. אז הוא התחיל איתו בעברית, אני קוראת לה פרילי פרסט בעברית, ואז הוא כבר לימד אותה אנגלית, ואז תוך שלושה חודשים הוא באמת הצליח לקרוא. והוא אומר, כשאנשים אומרים לכם משהו, הם מנסים להוריד אתכם, הם לא, זה הם לא המחליטים, למה מי זה מייקל, הוא אומר, מי, זה, מי הוא יהיה שהוא יחליט על הילד שלי. אז הרבה פעמים בחיים זה פוגש אותך דעה סיפור ראשון, של אנשים שמנסים להגיד לך, אתה לא תצליח בזה, ואתה צריך... כן, כן. 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 אבל זה ממש סיפור, ואחרי זה הוא מספר על הבן הזה שהוא יצא בהצטיינות באמת, וזה... זה מאוד מעניין, זה מאוד נחמד, זה גם קרי, כי זה קצת סטאפ על אני טיים, זה כאילו כל מיני סיפורים קצרים. וזה כיף לראות שמפקד של חיל האוויר יש לו ערכים כאלה, אז הנה על המסוק, על ההחלטות שהוא היה צריך לקבל, על אנשים, כאילו החיים שלו זה מעניין. אחי אופן נפש כוחי ברוך חי הכי גדול. אמן. תודה. 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 תודה.